In week 11, I came up against Effortless in the regular season. In this series, I took the 3-0 win. It was kind of expected, but it was definitely a possibility for him to like take a map or possibly win the series too, but I felt like just coming in that I've been putting in a lot more time than he has, and I think that just really just like shows by the end result. I think with the champion picks, I felt very comfortable because he kind of gave me all the options that I like to play. You know, just with, with the maps and the play styles, I just felt that I could really kind of keep the momentum in all the games that would really make the wins more consistent. You know, a very low risk, making sure that I take... Uh, there's a very high chance that I take every map, and that's that's kind of why it ended up, ended up being 3-0. Overall, I was pretty happy with that performance. I think coming off the the two losses with with uh, Rafa and Nosfa was a bit annoying for me. Of course, I don't like to lose, but yeah, this was kind of like a nice, you know, to get a win under my belt and feel, you know, confident coming into the next series. In the final week, I came up against uh, Maxstrom in the regular sp uh, This was always going to be a tough match for me. I think that just like with his playstyle and with my playstyle too, it's always going to be tough. With Of course, with like the server and the pings, but it is like a very even situation. I just need to play play into it. And the reason for that is because like when we're both on high ping, it kind of makes the game a little bit, a little bit harder to manage in terms of like what you can predict. You know, you can kind of be more aggressive and it's like harder to get punished for it. It depends, like the person who attacks has the advantage. Overall, with the series with Maxter and everything that I like to usually take away from these high ping games is like just get more experience as to like what what really was the um, the main factor for for winning these games. You know, sometimes it's um, abilities that can really impact player camera by being more aggressive, or maybe it's like just being more aggressive in general because there is like you know the way that the net code works it actually does favor the person who's being aggressive because it's like harder to stop them. And every time when I prepare for it, I seem to still not get it quite right, but I think that the more times I play it and more that I think about it, you know, it will eventually get to a position where I do win. The last few times I have played him, I, I uh, he's always taken with the win there. Coming into QuakeCon 2021, I'm very excited about this. I'm seated second, and basically what that means is that uh, I'll play an EU Challenger, which is probably, well, you can consider it one of the easier games, but actually even these players are extremely good, even to just, you know, be qualifying through the league, even in the European bracket. My QuakeCon preparation has been actually really good. I've just taken everything slowly. I mean, I've done everything that I've needed to, and not push myself too hard. I think that you have to be very careful about how much you're playing and not making yourself like too stressed just before a game day. You wanna just like, you know, you wanna peak at QuakeCon. You don't wanna peak too early where you're playing your best in your practice. Doesn't really make much sense. It's really been interesting to see the different approach people have taken in practice coming into the tournament. I think that everybody is kind of like trying everything on every map, which is making it really fascinating because sometimes you're actually seeing like different results you might not expect, or you're seeing that, you know, if you play something really good, you can actually take advantage in these different scenarios. And I think people are beginning to, to realize that. So we're gonna see some like pretty interesting games. What I'm expecting from this tournament is minimum top eight, I think that uh, the last two finals have come 9 to 12th and the last finals I definitely think I could have I could have been top 8, it was a very close game. So top 8 minimum, uh, top 4 is my goal and of course if I can make it that far winning the whole thing uh, would be quite a stretch but you know what you know you gotta keep you gotta keep the dream alive but yeah top four is i think where about my my level is at so we'll, we'll see how we go my other goal for quake on 2021 is just to get more experience in this field you know i think that's it's it's really fascinating what happens of course everybody can produce the results in a practice game but you know keeping it all together keeping yourself relaxed which i'm definitely working on to make sure that that's how i execute when the time comes it's a different feeling you know that's what really sets the great players from the best i'm just going to keep learning and uh, hope to get there too so we'll see how we go everybody that supported me all the way like thank you so much i don't know i wish i'd give it to you a hundred times back or even more than that you know so thank you so much for that we'll see how we go guys so thanks again and i'll see you there